When you get an eye exam, sometimes they put you on this machine that shows little flashing lights. And you're supposed to click the button when you see the light flash. Now the light can be anywhere, okay? But you start to get a little paranoid like, did I see the light or was it my imagination? Now sometimes this is how you can feel with a narcissist. See, as an empath, your intuition might be telling you something is wrong, but you're not exactly sure what it is. So you start to question it. Like, is there really a problem or am I just making it up? For example, you meet someone at a party, very charming, you know, the love bombing, all that. But then they also make little subtle passive aggressive comments. You're like, did they just take a jab of me? I'm not sure. Or there's someone in your life and I mean, they are just sucking the life out of you constantly. Okay, but you can't really put your finger exactly on what's going on. Why do I feel bad when I'm around them? Okay, so simply put, a narcissist is a self-centered individual with an inflated sense of importance. But there are five signs that you can look for to determine if you're dealing with one. Number one, one-sided conversations. They will totally totally dominate discussions and rarely show any real genuine interest with anything that's going on with you. I mean, you could tell them, hey, listen, yeah, I just created this cure for cancer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, like I was saying, I went to McDonald's, right? Okay. Number two, exploiting others. They use people for their own gain and lack any empathy regarding the con, the consequences. They are the consummate con artist. Where's my wallet? Okay. They take your money. They take your time. They take everything. They don't care. You deal with that. All right. Number three, masters of blame. They never, and I mean never, take responsibility for their mistakes and they shift blame to others. Now they'll tell you, hey, listen, you can't put that on me. Okay. Yeah, I crashed into the car, but that ain't my fault. Why was your car pulling in front? Of okay, they won't take responsibility. Number four, drama magnets. They thrive on creating chaos because they need constant attention. So you trying to get to peace. They don't want peace. They want the attention. All right. So that means your pain oh, brings them pleasure. Number five grandiosity. They exaggerate achievements and constantly brag about themselves, but never on you. They tell you, yeah, you know, they wanted me to be president of the United States, but I turned it down. Okay. See, scripture says, don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Clearly, the narcissist never read this one. So don't try to change them or don't hope that they will change. What you need to do is run. Okay. So if this is you and you have found yourself not listening to your intuition, not sure if it's talking to you because it ain't as developed as you know you want it to be. No worries. I'll tell you what you do. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30-minute consultation so I can tell you how coaching can help you recognize the signs immediately. All right. Y'all take care and make sure you subscribe. All right. Peace.